Yeah, yeah, I think we're in a really good spot um, right now. I mean, I told y'all beforehand, Tech's got some really good teams this year. I knew we were going to be in for some great competition. Um, we still sat our top two men, William and Ponza and Dennis Chariot. So I'm excited to see them open up in Louisville. And I'm um, sad two women that I believe should be in our top five. So for us to do what we did down in Lubbock, big training week, some of these kids ran 70 to 85 miles this past week, right? So they're pretty tired. Um, so overall, yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased with the way we competed. How, how come you set the two guys? How, I'm just curious. Yeah, we, we've just been doing some things in training with them that are very, very taxing. Okay. Um, Dennis is very new to the U.S. He's only been here since August, so just getting him used to classes and the culture and the food, and I just feel that it'd be best for him, just from a mental and physical standpoint, to, to not race until October. And um, that's really when it counts, right? That's when we can start to pick up these cross-regional wins for the national meet. Um, so I just thought that'd be a great time to open them up. Another good week for Julie there. What'd you like about her? Yeah, I mean, she's jumped in and, you know, she's in an increase in volume too coming here and we're expecting some more just training wise from her and she's handled everything great. Like, I think she's adjusting very well to the campus and the, just the, the training in general. And for her to, to lead this team as sort of a newcomer, right, two weeks in a row is very exciting and I think she's going to do some big things for us in the postseason. What do you know about the course of Louisville? You guys raced there before? Yeah, we've gone there since I've been here, so this will be the third year. I actually ran a national championship there when I was student athlete at WT. So, yeah, it's it's fast, it's flat. The <laughs> weather's usually pretty good. Um, we're not at any sort of altitude there. So, yeah, we really enjoy it. We get to see some teams from, you know, these other areas of the U.S. that we never run into other than there in the national meet. So it's a nice little uh, check mark or benchmark to see where we're at, you know, kind of midway through the season here. Do you taper a little bit for this one since we do? Was yeah, so last yeah. Week? So we'll start to cut back some volume. Um, this week right here will kind of be our last big week, and then we'll start to try to get some legs back under them. Right, they're pretty tired right now. They've been hitting it pretty hard. So, yeah, it'll, it'll be the first time that we have really a full team out there, fresh legs, and again, that'll give me a good indication of where we're at at the moment. So, knowing you're bringing back William and stuff this week, will some of the others that have ran well the last week kind of get a down week, or are they all going? They're all going to go up again, yeah. Yeah, so big week of training this week, and then we'll kind of get everybody back on that same schedule um, with that taper about two weeks out. We'll start to cut volume a little bit day by day and until we get to the race, and hopefully we feel fresh. Talk a little bit about this part of the season. You say you're resting with you guys this week. Is you, are you kind of trying to find who you're going to be your five guys by maybe taking out two of your better runners? Uh, and is that a strategy just to keep legs fresh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that is definitely part of it. You know, it gives me a better indication, especially when we get to the conference meet, I'm allowed to take 10, you know, of where our depth really lies and allowing some of these younger individuals that may be, you know, eighth or ninth or seventh to get in there and kind of feel that four and five gap. You know, it gives me a good idea of how they just handle the pressure, handle the team atmosphere, handle some of these bigger competitions. Um, but then, yeah, with, with William and Dennis, I mean, they've been, you know, they stayed here and did an incredibly hard workout, you know, maybe something that's even harder than the race. And, I just feel that it's it's better for them at this time, and um, yeah, I, I, the things I've seen from them in training, I've I don't think I've seen from anybody ever. So I'm really excited to to see what they do here in Louisville in a couple weeks. When can we expect to see Cherry on? Yeah, he'll open up in Louisville as well. Yep. Practices. I'm just, I'm just curious. The, the elite level of competition. Do they feed off each other? I, I know everybody's a a little different on what they want to pace and things like that, but do, does it really help you guys? Yeah, it does. So we try to strategically place people in certain groups. Obviously, Dennis and William, they um, they work out a lot together. But yeah, we'll give them specific paces, specific distances, um, and them really just learning what those things feel like. And you know, we talk a lot about hey, it's okay to compete with your teammates in practice, but it shouldn't be the emphasis, right? You shouldn't be trying to beat them up too bad. Like, we're very fortunate to have the depth in the group that we do. Um, so just always trying to reinforce, like, this idea of team. And we're here to help each other out. Um, and that can be very difficult, right, when you have a team that's this good and people want to be in the top three or the top five or the top seven, whatever it is. Um, so just getting them to work with one another, I think, has been really, really beneficial. You touched on working with one another. What, what can be, as a team sport, and, you know, you got runners that are obviously better than others. What can, like, maybe the better runners do this like, make the whole team better besides just win? Yeah, no. Yeah, cross country is a very unique sport because I think a lot of the times um, it's just kind of viewed as, hey, if you're an individual, do the best you can, and that helps the rest of the team, which is true in some sense. Um, 
but the way that we run our practices, we split everybody into these specific groups, and you can really feel like the morale out there, right? Like, just because you're not necessarily running in a group with the top individuals, like, there's a lot of encouragement going on, because um, some of these sessions are, are very grueling and very long, and um, it's just what's required to run 10K over grass very fast. Like, you just have to do some of this stuff. Um, so, yeah, you, you can feel that at our practice, a lot of encouragement, a lot of excitement. You know, even somebody like William encouraging some of these freshmen. Um, and that's something that you probably don't see at some of these other bigger programs, just people getting lost in the numbers and stuff. So we do our best to, to really try to make everybody feel like a priority, and I think our top runners really carry that sentiment as well. Have there been any discussions about bringing back the Stampede when you guys used to host that run here every year? It's been a couple of years since you've done it. Yeah, it has. Well, we, we currently don't have a cross-country course here at WT anymore. Um, yeah, it used to be out here. It's now um, the golfing range. But we are selected to host uh, both conference and regionals, not this coming year, but the next. So I'm not exactly sure what it's going to look like, where we're going to host it. Um, but, yeah, we, we do have the bid as of now. So nice. I'm sure we'll find a local golf course or a local park. And we'll have to talk with the new athletic director and see what that looks like. But, yeah, we always enjoy hosting. Um, if we had a space where we could have a home meet more frequently, yeah, I mean, I think it's awesome to bring people up to this area and, and have them compete against us.